It is undoubtedly one of the most dangerous places on the entire planet, plagued by drug warfare and the mysterious violent deaths of hundreds of women and girls since the early 90s. Ciudad Juarez sits just across the border from the US city of El Paso, Texas. Amongst the thousands killed overall, well over 300 women and young girls have died since 1993, with local groups believing the real numbers to be far, far higher. Sangre de mis venas, cintura de fuego, rompe como amaneceres, manos con que voy, cántaros de luz, tongue play. Who sings marine chants in sweet water with water's laughter, listens with ears of a and in its absence, records, remembers the tongue's nectar, the fragrant burning of touch, the sharp edge of accusatory pleasure, to see with a prophet's eyes, like an obsidian mirror, the profound truth that through the word she frees. Hello, my name is Martina Ayala, and I am the curator for Mujeres con Falda de Serpientes y Talones de Aguila. This show was conceived to honor women in all their stages, and it was inspired by Cotlique, our Aztec goddess, mother of life, a deity that um, transmutes life and transforms it through every challenge. And I felt that uh, Cuatlicue was a great inspiration for all women at all stages in their life. So this particular show uh, showcases work from women as young as age two, age uh, 70. And it covers all the different phases of women's life, all the different experiences that women go through and the art uh, depicts the women's struggles and their strength as they overcome all challenges. My name is Lynette Morales. My pieces are located behind the bar. One of them is a self-portrait of me about probably 15 years ago, hence why I look a little different now. The other two are basically women, they're figurative uh, paintings, and those basically represent the stage in womanhood where a woman becomes not even becomes comfortable with her sexuality, but starts to learn about her sexuality and starts to become comfortable with it and learning what it is. They relate to the theme of the show because it is a very important aspect in womanhood. It addresses that time of a woman's life where she's becoming this assertive, sexually comfortable woman, this woman that's comfortable with her body. Because a lot of these women are that age and a lot of them aren't that age and they're not even allowed to experience this wonderful part of their life. And, you know, we never know who they might become. We never know the power that they might become. We know their power through their image and through what we relate to them and who we are. So we're projecting our power onto them, which is great because we're keeping them alive. My name is Emilia Garcia. I'm a Chicana artist and I really do work that uh, speaks to who we are, where we come from, our culture, and I focus on, um, on women. I think it's easy to identify and to, to interject more feeling. Women have, there's so much that you can say with a woman just with their eyes and the way they look and it's more about the essence of a woman. It's important to provide funding for the show because one, the cause is the women of Juarez. It's ongoing. These uh, families have nothing and uh, some of them are in exile as Martina had mentioned earlier here in Los Angeles because all of their efforts and energy is in finding their children or the, their lost family members.